Hi, I'm Sharon Andrews, so I'm uh, 47, which is about 163 in comedian years, and I live in Torquay, Victoria. I'm mentally hyperactive and undisciplined, so my style of comedy goes a bit all over the shop. When I first told them that I was doing comedy, a lot of people were surprised. And they were surprised because at heart I'm pretty shy and kind of introverted. And I've actually had other people say to me, I didn't think you were funny. That probably just says I don't like that person, so I haven't been cracking jokes with them. <laughs> A little bit nervous, but nowhere near what I have been, to be honest. I kind of am just looking forward to getting out there and kicking it is what I want to do. So, yeah, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Next up, she's an academic with a PhD in funny, Sharon Andrews. Hi, guys. How good is this? Woo! Uh, thanks for coming out. I don't mean that in a gay way, but, you know, from my perspective, <laughs> the more the merrier. <laughs> I am from Torquay, which is uh, fantastic, by the beach, but in the countryside. I've only got one complaint. It's broken my gaydar. <laughs> I'm unable to tell the difference between other lesbians and the farmer's wives from Colac. <laughs> you can laugh. We're all fucking short hair, sensible shoes and a light dusting of animal fur. <laughs> uh, I moved there in 2009. And uh, when we first got there, it was like pretty white and middle class, but all of that's changing now. We've got like one Indian takeaway <laughs> and two of those Chinese massage places. <laughs> I'm turning that on its head. I'm taking Australian massage to China. <laughs> I'm going to call it massage down under. <laughs> I got my style worked out. I'm going to heat up the bottom of a pair of thongs and just go hell for leather. <laughs> it's all good. I don't know whether you saw this on Facebook recently, but uh, I saw an ad for camel toe undies. <laughs> undies with built-in camel toe. <laughs> I'm wearing them now. <laughs> I'm not, I just like it when people stare at my crutch. <laughs> yeah. And nobody would do that off their own bat. <laughs> <laughs> I did want to order a pair though, and they only come in Asian size L. <laughs> I wouldn't get one flap in them, let alone both. <laughs> Truth be told, we'd be talking camel knees. And <laughs> that's not as sexy as it sounds. <laughs> uh, I've got to ask a question, but I don't want you to incriminate yourself. So if this applies to you, I just want you to go... <laughs> All right. Did, uh, did anyone come here with uh, a friend who's a bit stupid? <laughs> <laughs> a, bit, a bit thick as a brick. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> it was subtle, but I, I got it. <laughs> Is it that one? <laughs> no? <laughs> it's that, that one. <laughs> I wouldn't have picked it, I would have thought that one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. Uh, I've got a friend who is as dumb as dog shit, <laughs> and I love her for it, because uh, it amuses me no end. She came into work the other day, and uh, she was limping, and I said, are you all right? And she said, uh, I've hurt myself, she lifted her skirt up and she said, I burnt myself and there's a, there's a V and three dots. <laughs> yeah, you're onto it. <laughs> She's ironing the fucking thing while it was on. 100% <laughs> true story. <laughs> I said, I cannot wait till winter when you're putting your clothes through the dryer. <laughs> This is going to be the best. <laughs> You'll be crispy as fuck. Uh, uh, I'm a bit of a late bloomer, like a late developer, medically speaking. I had my tonsils out when I was 22 and uh, my appendix at the start of this year. 
right? And I was in Geelong Hospital, and uh, this nurse comes in, she said, uh, I've got a couple of questions for you. She said, do you drink? And I said, yes, socially. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very Australian, isn't it? Not drinking, bullshitting about how much you drink. <laughs> uh, and she said, she followed it up with a weird one though. She said, do you ever wake up feeling guilty after you've been drinking? <laughs> I remind you, I was in there for my appendix. It's not like I came in through emergency with a swizzle stick through the labia. <laughs> And realistically, the answer to that question depends on who you wake up next to, am I right? <laughs> the jockey wasn't a high point. <laughs> <laughs> but surely I'm not the only one that thinks that jockeys look and sound like little lesbians. <laughs> All I'm saying is it's an easy mistake to make. <laughs> and next time I'm out at three o'clock in the morning and someone sidles up to me and says, Sharon, <laughs> are you in an arseless chaps? <laughs> I'm gonna ask more questions than I did. <laughs> like I'll say, is that weird little package a pair of camel toe undies? <laughs> And are you, by chance, a bi-curious farmer's wife from Colac? <laughs> <laughs> I'll finish up on this. Does anyone, uh, anyone get dick pics? <laughs> yeah. I never get any dick pics. Uh, <laughs> as a fat 47-year-old lesbian, it's inexplicable. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't get flap snaps either. <laughs> Which is good, because I wouldn't know how to judge them. <laughs> we don't do size matters. <laughs> what I'm going to say, ooh, that's impressive girth. <laughs> I think I might go with the organisational skills and go, hmm, that's nice and tidy. I like the way you tucked yourself in. <laughs> Have a great night, guys. Sharon Andrews. <laughs> <laughs>